Hello and welcome uh, to uh, with a very special guest, Adrian Rohnfelder, very well known volcano photographer with a special project, uh, Volcanic Stuff and Summits. And he just came back from Turkmenistan with a very special photo project and very special new camera. But please tell me more. Yeah, of course. Turkmenistan, everybody knows, there is located the Geltu. Hell. Hell to hell. And for sure, for my actual project, Heaven and Hell, I have to visit the <laughs> entry of hell. The gate of hell. Yeah. You, gate of hell, and you talked about a new camera. You're right. And because I was shooting the whole project with a new Olympus EM5 Mark III. Okay, great. Yeah. So I think the, the main thing about this camera that is, is a lightweight camera, but Does it really also fit to your special needs, which I know that there's usually ruggedness and, and it has to be very stable and everything? Did it really work out? Yeah, the first impression was a bit like, oh, some kind of plastic parts. And okay. I was really, okay, they were promising me it's like some same robust as the M1, which I really tested hard <laughs> in every condition like heat and ice and water. But the first impression, plastic said, okay, but for sure I have to test it. And yeah. where can you do it? In the desert, at okay. the gate to hell. It's perfect condition and you love, you, love, you know, I like testing and playing with those <laughs> cameras. And so the first check was um, in the desert with a Jeep, just driving by. It's a very dusty, dusty road. So <laughs> I was covered in dust. The whole camera was covered in dust. It was really dirty, so what have you to do when the camera is dirty? You have yeah, with to? my EM1 I go into the shower, but I think in the desert you don't have any showers. Yeah? Yeah, first I have no shower, and first, but I have a lot of bottles of water, so I ah, okay. took a bottle of water yeah. and just washed it over the camera. The eyes of our guide was just, <coughs> what is He's he killing doing? The camera. Camera is killing yeah. the camera, but <laughs> everything worked fine. It worked after it. It was clean. It worked fine. Great. And, Then I tested it at the gate to hell with a lot of heat because I was a bit afraid of plastic wouldn't melt, but yeah. no problem. Degrees about 200 degrees and it worked and so, no problem. So well, that's great. Uh, it's I hope you had at least two cameras with you. Yeah. Oh no, I only had one, but um, as they <laughs> promised me, it's, it's the same robustness like the one okay. and X, which I tested really, really hard. Yeah. So I had a real good confidence and wasn't disappointed. So I have to say, okay, robustness is check okay and fine ergonomics what about the ergonomics yeah ergonomics is also very important for me because i need to have my camera with me yeah. to shooting while climbing while mountaineering and um so i was really interested and i must say it is really really handy i worked most of the okay. time with the extra grip mm -hmm. Um, which is perfectly balanced with the pro lenses. So I really liked it to have it at my hands or to, to running around the yeah. desert. And of course, I sometimes took again my M1 Mark II, but after a few minutes I said, oh no, I take the M5 Mark okay. III because it's even a bit handier than the M1. It really fits perfectly in my hands and I, it's perfect travel camera, I think, in the end. Sounds great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the one of the main benefits of the um, Olympus cameras are the very special long time exposure modes. Uh, did you test it also? Yeah, for sure. I like those creative, creative possibilities mm -hmm. and in the desert you have clear <laughs> skies, no stars, light pollution, Milky Way, yeah. no light pollution. And for sure I have to test it. And I took Star Trail pictures of one, one and a half hours and you see it's just a white sky and no darkness and it worked out perfectly and um, Great, yeah. And in this point, there is always the discussion about picture quality, about noise reduction and something like that. But I think I never had any problems by publishing my pictures, while presenting them on big, big, really big screens and look at those pictures. So I think yeah. we have to skip this discussion. <laughs> It's yeah. I think that, that's it. great. And, and I think yeah. it, you are much faster than in the old days where you have to turn uh, the, the, the time wheel a long time. I think it, it's now on, on the direct wheel. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have a no B mode on the direct wheel, okay. which is really nice because in the former times you have to, to think about where what can I find the live <laughs> composite mode. Now it's just the B and then you are ready so to shoot faster, and yeah. it's very much faster. And for me, I really like this. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And when I'm talking about the um, the long time exposures we always talk about the batteries yeah and one of the main thing with a lightweight camera is that it's the smaller camera the uh, smaller battery
it. Of course, it's a smaller battery, so it doesn't last as long as okay. with the M1. I think for me, with a heavy shooting, I need, let's say, two cameras, two, bat uh, two batteries, batteries yeah. per day. And at night, I was able to shoot for about two, two and a half hours, which is fine. Right, you can okay. yeah. take really, really good start trails. And the big advantage, really big advantage, is we are finally are able to charge via USB. Ah, so just, traveler's dream. Yeah. So just take your um, power bank, and yeah. we've been five or six days in the desert without any possibility to charge. So with the power bank, there was no problem. Only maybe a bit disadvantage is you only are able to charge the camera when it is off okay yeah. so not in the while shooting yeah. so okay and there's the, always room for improvement there's room for improvement <laughs> and uh, the percentage or the battery time is mm -hmm. displayed in columns and not in percentage ah, okay. as I'm used to it. Well, that's my M1. maybe point for, so, for firmware update. Yeah, or could like be, that. should yeah. be, because yeah. sometimes it's a bit of mm, in the night you are shooting <laughs> as a star trails and then start the orange blinking with the battery <laughs> warning and oh, I have to, get nervous, to finish yeah. my shoot, but that's only a minor, okay. minor problem. So. so anything to add about this brand new camera? Yeah, so for one thing is an improvement against the Mark II M5 mm -hmm. is you're now able to shoot 4K video. For ah, me it's yeah. very important yeah. for my trailers and for my presentations as mm -hmm. well. And also we have slow-mo video in 120 frames per second. That's cool. And in the end I must say I really liked shooting with it because it fits all my needs, it's okay. Right, yeah. Not everyone is at the gate to hell in a yeah. very rough condition, <laughs> but I'd also we're shooting in Ashgabat and in a small village mm -hmm. in the desert for normal travel shooting. Yeah. And it was just perfect. I think it's also so good when, when you have such a small and, and non-intrusive camera to, to, to capture people who really don't like it. Yeah, for sure. In Ashgabat, <laughs> we were on the camel market and yeah. it was not sure if we are really allowed to shoot yeah. or not to shoot. So if you're so, so small, small kit camera, is always good. maybe yeah. with, a, with a small lens, it's better than to yeah. have those so, so shootings. Yeah. So it's, for me, I think it's really perfect one for really extreme conditions, okay. for really night time or landscape pictures, but also as a travel camera. Great. So if you have any questions, just put it in the comment section of this video. And I just want to say thank you, Adrian, yes. and bye-bye. Thank you, and bye. Bye.